Welcome back to Cypress Academy, Wicked Wi-Fi 101. In this video, I will show you how to run and build two simple applications. We call them SNPs because they're just slices off of a real application, just enough to be a working example that can demonstrate a specific feature. We also call them SNPs because they reside in the SNP folder of the Apps folder. Remember I told you all of your firmware will reside in the apps folder. I'm going to program two SNPs. The first SNP is called SNP.GPIO, which just blinks the onboard LEDs. The second is called SNP.Scan, which will scan for all of the Wi-Fi access points that are around you, and then it will display information about them. In order to build one of the SNPs, you need two things. Number one is knowledge of which platform meaning which development kit the SNP will run on. The second thing you need is a make target. The answer to the first question is pretty easy. I'm gonna run both of these projects on the CYW943907 AEVAL1F development kit. If I look in the platforms directory, I can see there's a folder called CYW943907 AEVAL1F. Okay. That's my platform. That's good. The second thing I need is a make target. In the Wicked SDK, all of the projects are built and programmed using make. Moreover, they are built and programmed with the same basic make files. When you run make, you need to tell it which application you want to build and what you want to do with it. This is done via the make target. If you click on the little arrow to expand the make targets, you can see that we give you a bunch of examples along with the SDK. A make target is just a string of characters which tells the make system which project to build. They are all of the form of directory dot project name dash platform name space download space run. For instance, to run the GPIO SNP, I will need to create a make target like this, snp.gpio-cyw943907aeval1f space download space run. There are several ways to create a new make target. The easiest path is to copy an existing target by typing control C, then paste it with control V. When you do that, you will get a window that says, copy of snip.scan dot dot dot, and you can edit it to suit your own needs. You can also right click new, which will bring up a blank box where you can type the complete make target. Once you have a make target, you can double click it to run it. When I double click the snip.gpio make target, it builds and programs my board. And looky here, the blinking LED, that's great. Now let's build something a little more interesting, the SNP.scan. This SNP will scan all of the Wi-Fi access points that it can hear, and then it'll print out information about what it hears. For instance, the SSID name, the RSSID, the channels, etc. You can program this SNP exactly the same way as you program the blinking LED example. You create a make target of snip.scan-cyw943907aeval1f space download space run. Then you double click it. In order to see the output of this SNP, I will attach a terminal window to the serial port. It will print out all of the APs that it can see. Wait for about 500 milliseconds, then go back around and do it again. Right where I'm sitting right now, I can see a bunch of different Wi-Fi access points. In the next video, I will take you through the platform directory and show you all of the important files and what they do. You can post your comments and questions in our Wi-Fi developer community on cypress.com, or as always, you're welcome to email me at allen underscore hawes at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you.